Hey guys, what's up? It is Randy and I am filming a video just to kind of give you guys an idea of the types of things that I want to start filming on my YouTube. I have been struggling so damn hard to get some videos up, but as a lot of you know, I have been sick, had surgery, and all of that is finally over with and I am ready to get into it. So the quality of this video is not going to be great. I am still waiting on my tripod to come in and these lights are going to be moved so that we don't have this issue right here. But I just wanted to show you the planners that I have and what my plans are for the videos to kind of get an idea of what you guys might like to see or not want to see, whatever. So I'm just going to show you the planners I have, how I use them, and what type of videos I will be planning in them for you guys. So I have this planner here, and I also have this obnoxious stack of planners over here to show you guys and see how this is going to work out. So this is my Plum Paper, plan plum paper Planner. I use this as... A brain dump basically um, I just got it not too long ago let me try to fix my camera a little bit so you can see I use this planner mostly for just a huge hodgepodge of ideas this week I got it um, I tried to put some stickers in it I don't like the way it looks with stickers it's just not as functional for me this week I was sick, I had surgery, it was a mess, and this week I was back to work on Monday, I started planning in here. So this planner is basically where I just scribble everything down. Um, I put my food, dinner at the bottom, I put ideas for my shop on the side, I put when Kim comes to work, ideas for things that I want to make that day regular stuff that's not Etsy related. Um, I wanted to take out my Christmas decorations and make sure I had what I wanted because I was going to Hobby Lobby this day. Um, I had to go to the post office. I ordered my new desk. Stuff like that. I just throw it all in here. I don't make a point to make it look pretty. I don't use really stickers very often. I just happen to have this sticker left over from the week before. Um, I cross things out. I I don't really care about this planner as far as making it look fancy, I guess you can say. So then this week I was sick again back in the hospital. And then this week was Labor Day week. I just threw all of my ideas in here. This was last week. Um, so I put all of my errands. I put my dinners across the bottom. Um, again with... Etsy ideas for new releases, anything, my dog was sick, stuff I needed to do for the shop, what time Kim's coming, doctor's appointments, all of that. So this is this week, um, same basically, across the top up here I have stuff for my niece, this is her homecoming week, so I put all of her stuff up there so I would remember when she needed to be dropped off, picked up, she's having some friends over, yoga, um, Kim's birthday, me and Austin are going on a date today, today is Wednesday the 14th by the way, um, wedding photographer, basically everything goes into here, so I won't be filming with this planner probably since I don't use any types of stickers, however, this is what I will use when I am planning in the other planners that I have over there to film, so my Erin Conjure, my neutral, this is the cutest cover ever, Kim got it for me, she works for me if you didn't know, I run on Caffeine Chaos and Cuss Words, she knows me too well, and I have probably like three or four covers on this thing, which is probably not the best, but they're all too cute. So this is the planner that I will be doing Plan With Me's in, this is kind of the my pretty planner um that I honestly just have not been using whatsoever so what is today the 11th or the 14th the 14th 
So for this planner, I will probably be doing plan with me's on Thursdays and upload them on Thursdays and be planning the following week. So maybe t maybe not tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment, but starting on Tuesday next week, I will definitely be starting my videos. So on Thursdays, I will be filming a plan with me for the next week in this planner with a pretty kit from my shop or another shop and it will be just your average regular plan with me for the following week just like everybody else films and that will just be every Thursday that I will do that and then I was thinking since I still have my planner from last year I will use this one for the next couple of months until the year is over and I will do this planner on Tuesdays so on Tuesdays I will plan a rewind spread maybe for the previous week so I think I'm gonna call them throwbacks or something like that I'm not sure yet but it will be the previous week in this planner with a full kit white space no white space whatever I have that I want to use and also in both planners I will be doing um, monthly spreads so probably on Tuesdays I will do my throwback in this planner and either a monthly spread or a haul or something like that and then on Thursdays I will do my plan with me for the next week in my neutral planner and also do either a monthly spread, a haul, or something along those lines. So, I also have that I just got. Sorry about the banging. My desk is a mess. I just purchased this Happy Planner. It is um, undated. So, I got the stuff that comes with the undated planner dots and months. And I also bought some extra, like, month and numbers and some books and I want to use this planner for scrapbooking and memory keeping so since it's undated I figured I could plan or more so back plan what I do on specific weeks so like on this week I could do you know um maybe my bachelorette party week and put in some pictures and it wouldn't be specific plans like I wouldn't put doctor's appointments and stuff like that in here it would be mostly things that I really want to remember like pictures what we did for the bachelorette party maybe put in some like movie stubs whatever in here and since it is undated I could do my bachelorette party this week well I could do like Halloween this week whatever we did for Halloween my bachelorette party this week, the wedding one week, the honeymoon, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. And it wouldn't matter if I'm doing, you know, this week on this sheet and then, you know, three weeks from now on this sheet since it is undated, but it will still be in chronological order. So when I go back and want to flip through my plans and memories and stuff, it will be in order, but it won't have a ton of empty pages if that makes sense so that is my plan for this so I'll probably film me doing that uh, maybe like a sped up version when I do these just because I don't want to bore you guys with my life plans and my wedding stuff but I thought it would be cool to use stickers that aren't necessarily kits in here and maybe use like printed out google images or the mommy stickers or even if I had like a really pretty wedding kit I have one from um, the glam planner that I'm saving for my neutral planner for my wedding week but something like that that I could use in here would be really pretty and all of my extra like samplers and stuff that are holiday themed that I wouldn't necessarily use in my other planners I could use in here for holiday weeks and stuff like that and my last planner that I have is my Kate Spade. Um, I got this tassel from Lauren Phelps Designs. It is so pretty. The lights are not doing it any justice. There we go. 
so pretty she has awesome work go check her out she has good prices and this is really well made with a little charm that won't focus but it says made with love and i just thought it was the cutest thing so in this planner i will be doing um kind of like i think i'm gonna call them scrap spreads i want to use my leftover kit pieces extra boxes extra half boxes headers all of that I'm going to keep in a bin and then when I go to plan in this planner I'm going to pull out that bin and just find a big mix match of stuff that go together that I can use and use it in here and try to I guess kind of recycle all of the extra stuff that I have that I wouldn't really necessarily use because who has time to be digging through scraps of paper looking for a purple appointment label. I don't, I don't have the patience for it, but I think it would be a fun challenge to do in here. So I have my little dividers from Cardstock Couture, I believe. Um, some little bookmarks I made. This is me and Austin on Mardi Gras day. I just put it on a life card, project life, and hole punched it. Another one of us from Halloween, we were Jack and Sally. Me and my niece in a photo booth. Um, so yeah, I love this planner. It is so pretty. I love putting stickers in it. But I just never find the time to open it and really use it. So I'm excited to do the scrap spreads in here. This is from Love for Planning. It's a really cute kit she sent me. This is from Gabriella designs i believe is what her shop is called i think this um maybe this and the computer are from um love for planning and yeah so as you can see i haven't used it very much so that is my plan for my Kate Spade planner. I just have some clips. Um, I think these are from Miss Daisy Rose or Mud Pies and Pigtails. I think Miss Daisy Rose. They're glittery. They're so cute. So yes, that is my plan for my YouTube. If you guys have any other ideas of stuff you would want to see, like if you're interested at all in seeing the plum paper planner or anything like that or if you want to see any type of other videos like i have been asked a couple times to do an office tour i'm totally down to do that um house tour i maybe i just moved here and i've been decorating my house um i'm down for whatever but it's going to be mostly planner related with these five planners i do not plan on buying any more planners until next year and I'm actually going to try very hard to finish my Erin Condra neutral planner and my plum paper planner all the way through until the last page. I've never finished a planner I don't think um, but I'm going to try really really hard to finish these two. This one will be over in December. This one is going to take a while to figure to fill up because I'm going to be skipping weeks obviously. It's going to be scrapbooking so it's going to take a while to fill this up. And this um, Kate Spade I'm going to try to finish to the end also. I'm going to make a very huge effort to do a plan with me on um, both Erin Condren's and the Kate Spade every week on YouTube. I'm going to hold myself to it. I'm going to try unless I get sick obviously um but I will try to kind of pre-plan or back plan if that happens so that I'm still getting content up for you guys um the happy planner is going to be more of a bonus I guess like if around the holidays wedding stuff that I have to do I'm gonna do this one um to kind of fill in some gaps so Tuesday planning, Thursday planning, Tuesday or Thursday, whatever day I have more time, hauls, tours, you name it, I can try to do it. Um, 
and yeah I think that's pretty much it that I'm going to try to do on my channel to start so let me know any ideas I'm down for collabs I've already talked to a couple people who want to do collabs like use the same kit the same week and just plan and see how different our two plans come out with the same kit I'm excited to try that with a few people um, I'll also be doing some new release videos some videos um, talking about my sales that I have coming out or mystery kits that I have coming out I'm currently working on October's and that will be launching October 1st at noon Central Standard Time they will ship out a couple days later I usually ship them out the day they're purchased but this month since I was sick I have a couple shops sending in samplers and stuff so I gave them until the 5th to get their stuff to me because I it was my fault that I was running a little late asking for them so I didn't want to make any shops have to really rush and send something that they weren't happy with so um, they will be shipping out on the 5th and after probably all on the 5th um, but they will still be launching on the 1st as always I don't want to change that um, I'm thinking maybe towards the end of the year switching to having them go on sale on the 15th of the month instead of the first because I know a lot of people have bills and rent and stuff due on the first and then they can't get it and then they sell out and then they're upset that they couldn't get one so if you guys think that the 15th would be a better option for you to be able to buy them and afford them and not break your bank on the first I totally understand that the first is just when everything is due so let me know if you guys are interested in me switching it to the 15th or so so you have a better time getting your hands on one because I have sold out every month since I restarted them and I'm very very grateful for you guys um, I hit 12,000 sales thank you so so much for that it is so exciting um, I'm just so impressed with you guys you guys have helped me out so so much you have no idea and thank you for bearing with me while I was sick and for not hassling me I try to get things out as fast as I can Kim works Monday Wednesday Friday so she gets things out as fast as she can so I'm very happy to be back on a good schedule with her I am really pushing to be ready to ship by the end of the year I'm not making any promises I feel like if my sales pick up a little bit more I am going to force it <laughs> but as of right now I don't think my orders are taking too long considering the fact that I have have been sick and stuff so by the end of the year I am really really hoping to have ready to ship items for you guys to make it faster and easier for you um, but until then just bear with me we're getting them out as fast as we can I'm trying to have as many big sales for you guys as I can I should have a sale this weekend um, I'm not sure the details of it just yet also I have my 12k giveaway going on you will win a big bag of stickers from my shop and some target stuff and a couple cute fun things that I'm gonna throw together I believe it ends Sunday so if you haven't entered make sure you enter also make sure you're Instagram when you repost is not on private because if it is on private I can't see your entry to pick you if you enter so try to make sure that at least on that Sunday maybe you could unprivate your account just for that day um, I'll have an exact time I think it might be at noon that I put on there so maybe for like a couple hours out of that day on private your account just so I can see your entry so you have a chance to win because I don't want you guys to be entering every day and then you have no shot of winning because I can't see your entry so make sure you do that or send me a message or something and say hey my pri I'm on private but I'm gonna unprivate from 11 to 3 or something just because if I don't pick it at exactly 12 give me a, a little while to do it so I think that's it let me know ideas ask me any questions follow me on Instagram to see all of my posts for sales and also follow my the <laughs> I can't find the words 
my um, Facebook group. So I always post things in there that I don't post on Instagram. I have special giveaways on there, special sales just for my Facebook girls. I have about 450 girls in there, so there's always conversations going, and it's a really fun time. So make sure you uh, join that group. So I think that's it. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you will subscribe, follow, take a look at my shop. Big things coming. Thanks so much. I love you guys, and have a good, good week. Bye.